In this week's Master in a Minute, you are going to learn how to create the Olympic rings. The first step in creating the Olympic rings is to create a circle, copy and paste in front, scale the foremost circle to about 90%. Select both of the circles, open the Pathfinder palette, hold down the Option key and select Subtract from Shape Area. You now have a ring shape with a hollow center. Option drag a copy of the ring to the right of the original while holding down the shift key to constrain movement. Go ahead and hit command D to duplicate. Now you've got three evenly spaced rings on the top. Grab the two left rings. Once again, option drag a copy, hold down the shift key to constrain, drag it about halfway down. Group the top three circles, group the bottom two circles. Select both groups and then from the align palette, Align horizontal centers. Now ungroup both of those circle groups. Go ahead and fill each ring with an Olympic color. Starting from the top left, it should be blue, black, and red. Bottom left, yellow, green. Now select all your rings, change the stroke color to none. Using the Pathfinder palette, select all your rings and hit divide. This makes each overlapping area an individual element. Select and colorize those overlapping areas as needed to create the effect of linked rings. Once again, select all. Group your elements together. And this is your basic set of Olympic rings. Let's go ahead and have some fun. To add some life to these rings, select the group. Go to Effects, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Experiment with the settings, add an additional light source, select OK. And last but not least, let's add a drop shadow. Check it out. You have just created a beautiful set of Olympic rings. And you've just mastered it in a little more than a minute.